Welcome back to Innovators. Tonics Pharmaceuticals is working on treatments for PTSD as well as fibromyalgia. And with us to give an update on these drugs is the CEO, Seth Letterman. So welcome, Seth. Thank you yeah, for having me. to have me. you here. So what's your background? What led you to start Tonics Pharmaceuticals? Thank you. I'm a physician. I was a professor at Columbia Medical School for about 20 years. Okay. And now I've been in industry for 20 years. I've been fortunate that I've worked in startups on problems that I think are very important. That's one of the theses for all of our companies, or what are the most important problems facing, medical problems facing uh, Americans. Now, I mentioned that you're working on treatments for PTSD and fibromyalgia, and they're in stage three, phase three? Phase three. Okay, so what does that mean, and like, will these be reaching the public soon? Or? Phase three is the last stage of drug development, so they're quite advanced. It's the same medicine for both conditions. Okay. And um, in PTSD, we're expecting data in the first half of next year. And in fibromyalgia, we'll be recruiting a phase three study and we'll have uh, final data in 2021. Now, is this drug the TNX-102SL? Yes. Okay. And that also treats sleep? Yes. Jeez, okay. So we, we believe that treating sleep is the mechanism by which it improves PTSD and fibromyalgia. PTSD and fibromyalgia are very different problems, but they share a common theme of having a sleep disturbance. And so our drug, by helping that sleep disturbance, allows people to recover from these conditions somewhat normally. Interesting. Okay, you might be able to apply this to a lot of different things at some point. Yes, sleep is a problem in many medical yeah. conditions and in general our society is sleep deprived. Yeah. So we think that um, sleep disorders impair health in many different ways. Although ours is a prescription medicine, so it's, we're really developing it for specific indications one by one. So we don't know all of the conditions that will help. Now, uh, of course there's Ambien. How does this differ from Ambien? That's an excellent question. Ambien is a class of medicine called a non-benzo, but it reacts with certain receptors in the brain, like, like benzos. Our drug reacts with different receptors in the brain, completely different receptors in the brain. Our drug is not addictive, and our drug improves sleep quality as opposed to sleep quantity. Now, could this drug be a solution to the opioid epidemic, for example? Hopefully it will be a solution for some people, but it's true that many people with addictive problems have sleep disturbances, and for many of them, if, you, if they try to quit or have trouble quitting, they find that poor sleep is the reason why they either can't quit or go back. So we hope to experiment with that directly. I will say that one of the important things we're doing by treating fibromyalgia and PTSD is we're hopefully treating addiction problems before they occur. So people with PTSD untreated have a big susceptibility to addiction. So if we can make their PTSD better, then maybe we can cut that off before it becomes a problem. And fibromyalgia, which is a chronic pain disorder, also leads many people, a third of fibromyalgia patients, take chronic opiates. So if we have a better non-addictive treatment for them, then maybe it can stop that problem before it occurs. How big of a, an issue is PTSD? PTSD is a terrible problem. Yeah, we we it think affects, it's associated with, with war, but it affects other people as well. It does. Yeah. PTSD is believed to affect about 12 million United States adults. And roughly 9 million of those, or 3 quarters, are civilians, not military. And the civilians get PTSD from auto accidents, victims of assault, victims of rape, natural disasters, school shootings, and things like that. And PTSD is a problem because it not only affects the person who's affected, but it affects their families and their communities. So on average, I think a PTSD case probably affects five other people. So you can't just think of it as affecting 12 million Americans. It affects many, many more Americans. So what are your near-term catalyst milestones that you're looking forward to in 2020? Thank you. Well, even in 2019, we're hoping to enroll the first patient in our fibromyalgia study very soon. That's a phase three trial. 
and in early in 2020, we'll have interim data on our PTSD study. Interim means that half of the patients in the study will be analyzed and will give the, you know, will report how the first half did with our drug. And then in the second quarter of 2020, we'll have top line results from the phase three trial. Okay, well, best of luck to you, because I know this is something that affects a lot of families. So good luck, Seth, and thank you for coming. Thank you very yes. much for having me on and the show. Thank you as well for joining us. We'll be right back.